Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put a book into an account. Let's say you've set up your Lulu account already and, you, and uh, you're ready to create your book. Click up here on Create. And this is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's not, it's not that hard once you get the hang of it. Print book. Let's say we're doing a standard paperback. And then you have all these options down here. It, um, on Lulu, it says it 6 by 9 U.S. trade is your paperback. Okay? Let's say it actually has 102 pages. Just change that right there. It's got 102 pages. Then you click Make This Book. Because you don't need it to be in color if it's a children's book. You just need what they already have there. If it's, let's say it's a children's book. Okay? U.S. letter, 8 by 5. And then you're going to want to come down here and click on full color on white. See, it's going to change your options. But for children's book, we almost always use saddle stitch. Although this one says it can be perfectly bound. But we normally we use saddle stitch. It just looks better. Okay, so we're going to make this book. Click on make this book. It'll come up. This is the name of the book. This is the author. Change that if you have to. Um, and we're going to put sell on Lulu Marketplace. Okay, now I'm trying to film this myself, so please forgive if it isn't really as good as when Sarah films it. Okay, now you're going to come to a page uh, when you're signing in going to say um, before you upload don't worry about any of the stuff that it says on there you just go down here it says upload and you upload oh wait a minute I'm sorry choose file and we're going to say that our file Remember, it has to be a PDF before you can put it in here. Okay, so the let's make our PDF over the brink. We'll say that's what say that's what we're uh, uploading. Press upload. You got to wait a few minutes for it to upload. It glitches a lot, so if it signs you out, just go back under my projects, click on the last one that you were working on, and it'll come right back up where it was. Don't worry, Lulu saves even though they glitch a lot, but they do save. Uh, quite a bit and it's this is much easier than if you're if you try to do this on create space now it's gonna always give you these warnings about how your book doesn't look right and it's not enough but don't worry about that because it usually fixes it uh, any glitch and they always come out nice I mean you know they, they warn you all these things but the books I've been doing this long enough to know that the warnings are just kind of there every time okay so we make a print ready file down here at the bottom. Get that in there. Over here on the edge. Sweet. See that? Oh dear. Okay, so alright, so it's done that. So you go up here, save and continue. Save and continue. Okay, and you're going to see Lulu Cover Wizard. Now the first thing you've got to do is you've got to go and take, even if it's the correct title, you have to take out that. So you backspace it and you put two spaces in there so it doesn't print that box. You do the same thing where the name is and anywhere it says to do text, just take it out and space it twice so it doesn't show the text boxes and then you zoom out. Okay, now you want to add images because we've got our our cover's already done, so we're going to upload our images, and this does take a bit. 
but you know don't get uh, too unhappy about it there's my cover that's my front cover now I have to wait for that to pop up always say you'll wait because otherwise there's no getting back in you have to start all over So we're waiting for that to work out there on the side. You see how it popped up? Okay. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to upload another image. And that'll be our back cover. See how it's going to pop up on this line here. It takes a bit, but it will pop up. It really will. I promise, I promise. Okay, there we go. Now let's go over here. And down there at the bottom it says done. Click on done because that's that's all you want. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. We're going to take our front cover. We're going to put it on there. And as you can see, it, only, it doesn't want to cover the whole book. Glitch it around there, move it around there until it does. And when you get it where you want it, push it over a little bit. It's going to look uneven, but you see this line up here? They trim it and you don't want to lose any part of your illustration. That's why normally I frame them before I put them in. The back, pretty much the same, but it went right in. Now you're going to see these two warnings here. These aren't enough DPIs, except they actually are. And that warning pops up every time. Do not worry about it. The only way you're going to know your cover looks perfect is if you have it in your hand. And it usually does look perfect. You usually don't have to uh, do anything. So now down here. I don't know if you can see that. Preview make print ready cover. That's where you click. It'll tell you that no, no, it's not right. Just preview anyway. I've never had a cover be right. And every one of them turned out perfect. Okay. Make print ready cover. Make print ready cover. Okay. It's going to go to take a few minutes. You can print up your cover if you want to see kind of what the colors would be, but you're not going to know what it looks like trimmed. So I use, that's why I usually put a small frame line around it so that they don't trim off any of our words because that's an expensive mistake. Okay. So here you can download, uh, your file or your cover to look at if you need to, uh, but we're, we're not going to do that. So we're going to save and continue. Now here, you select a category. If it's fiction, just put general. Please don't put something else. People don't look at it that way. So we're just going to say it's general fiction. Uh, this project contains explicit or adult nature. You never, ever are going to have to check this box at this publishing company. Uh, let's say the keywords are over, separate with a comma, brink, comma, dystopian. Which used to be totalitarianistic, but they changed the word on me. Now here is where your description goes. That's the blurb for the back of your book. So what I usually do is I go to the book cover that I was making and I just copy and you can paste that right in. Now that would be the wrong uh, cover, but we'll say it's not. Uh, copyright notice, whoever it is, they're different. Sometimes it's Angel Dunworth, sometimes it's Cheshire Grin, sometimes it's the name of another author. I'm just going to put Angel for now. Select the license type. Usually it's standard copyright. Uh, you don't have to worry about edition. I never do that. Put in the publisher. And I'm just going to put in Cheshire right now since this is an example. And then down here again at the bottom. Save and continue. Now it's going to show you a price here and you can change the price uh, to $20. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of people won't buy a book if it's if it's under twenty dollars but you don't have to make it that high if you don't want to and then see over here it will show you at lulu you're making nine dollars anywhere else you would probably be making about 50 cents um so i just want you to know that i know amazon barnes and nobles it's all very inviting but they aren't going to pay you for your work which is why we use lulu so that we can get paid for our work however if you don't use amazon barnes and noble and ingrams you do not have international distribution just so you know that so make sure your writers know that before you uh set up their account now you review your project okay everything there looks great down here it will say private access that's only i can get it direct ass access which is a website we don't use that we use general access so that everyone can buy it and as soon as i click pay, save and finish it, it it'll show me i can i can order approved coffee which i'm not going to do and then uh, normally you would order proof coffee uh before this step also i want you to know um there is a a place to set up your payment information your paypal uh they have to set up their paypal before um they order a proof or anything or publish or anything because otherwise if you make money on a okay if you don't have your paypal set up then if you make money on a sale it reverts back to lulu amazon or barnes and noble okay um if all of a sudden in the middle the template glitches just go back into my projects wherever you were working it'll come right back up to where it was you won't have lost your information usually um, if your cover comes out where their template has glitched and screwed up your cover, take a picture, call Lulu. Normally they'll fix it. If they refuse to fix it, um, then just start the process again, put it in another account, and retire the first one. Uh, this isn't a problem we've ever had, but once with Lulu, uh, I just want you to know in case it ever crops up again. Uh, okay, guys, I think that's all you need to know, and um, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Okay, guys, one more thing. Um, th there will pop up an option while you're doing the Lulu account sometimes that uh, asks you whether or not you want an ISBN. And you do want an ISBN from them because it's free. But once you agree to that, also click on it so that you can download it and send it to the author uh, because that's their um, identification number. For international sales okay so make sure you do that as well okay that's it have a good day